Exclusive one on one interview tonight. State Treasurer Jeff DeWitt was the first elected official in the country to endorse Donald Trump. A year later, he's a part of the president elect's inner circle. Tonight, he says he's seeing a change in Trump as he gets ready to lead the country. He has been there for Donald Trump through all the highs and lows of the campaign, showing a quality many say the president elect values the most loyalty. So will that loyalty pay off in a top job at the White House? You've been offered jobs in the administration, right? Yeah, I have. Have you been offered a cabinet level job? Again, I, everybody right now, nobody can talk about anything that goes on. You haven't taken yourself out of the running, right? Again, I can't really talk about that. All I can say is I love Arizona, and right now my plans are to be here in Arizona. For someone who says he's not a political guy, Jeff DeWitt has been hip deep in the Super Bowl of politics, a part of Trump's inner circle. But as many have noted, the presidency has a profound effect, and DeWitt says he's seen it. I was fortunate enough to be standing feet from him when the election results, we watched the election, election results come in. You could see the, the change of he realizes the gravity of the position that he's in. And I've been very, very impressed with how he has uh, been very forthright about being there for everybody. DeWitt wants to make clear, despite deep divisions, often along racial lines, President Trump denounces racism in all forms. But questions were made about some of Trump's early choices, like former Breitbart chief Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon that I know is a hardworking guy and a uh, very smart man. He has great political instincts and he, he served the campaign well. Is he a racist? I've never seen anything out of him that would suggest he's a racist. Earlier this year, DeWitt announced he would not be running for re-election, a personal choice for a man who's married with three young daughters. After a year in the midst of a heated campaign, I asked him again today about his political ambitions. His answer, never say never.